Live look over Fort Worth this morning. Your view across DFW is going to look a lot different later this afternoon as the annual annual yes yeah, solar eclipse passes over Texas. It's called the ring of fire and parts of North Texas will go completely dark here in DFW and we're going to get about 80% coverage and there's plenty of places that you can actually go to see this rare event today. So joining us this morning is the Pro Museum CEO. Oh my gosh, we've got a big <laughs> one in, in studio. Dr. Linda Silver with more on how you can experience this unique phenomenon. Dr. Silver, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I'm thrilled to be here. We've got a big day in front yes, of us. I know you've got a very busy day, so we've been covering the ring of fire for quite a bit uh, here on Daybreak uh, this week. But tell us more, I guess, about the science behind what's happening today. Yeah. So we are really fortunate here in Dallas. This is the first of two eclipses that we're going to experience over the next six months. Today's a partial eclipse, and we're using it really as an, uh, a teaser, if you will, for mm -hmm. a full eclipse that will happen in April. On April 8th, we'll be in the line of totality. Wow. So at that point, Dallas will go totally dark. And a Essentially, what we are seeing is the, the um, phenomenon of what happens when the moon passes between the Earth and the sun. Today's annular eclipse, you get to see a little bit more of the sun because the moon is farther away yeah. from um, the Earth right now. But again, in April, we'll have totality for almost four minutes. Ooh, now just how rare, I guess, is today's eclipse? These are fairly rare events. The next total eclipse over Dallas won't happen for another 300 years. Oh, wow. I know, so this is really a once in a lifetime opportunity to uh -huh. experience the science phenomenon and and to really learn about astronomy and be excited by science. Very, very cool. Now, I know it's going to be a very exciting, um, I guess, morning at the Pro Museum. Yep. Tell us what you have going on. You told me uh, you got your sneakers on because you're going to be running on. around. <laughs> we open early today at 830 in the morning. We have STEM activities throughout the museum as well as outside. Mm -hmm. We've got food trucks. We've got a DJ and Ooh. live music. And we've got our partners from Carnegie Science, astronomers who do this for a living who are here to help us um, and all of our science educators engage the public and explain what's going on as it as it happens. This is an eclipse that will take about three hours to experience. Mm -hmm. So you'll start to see things in the sky um, around uh, 1030 in the morning. The peak will be really at about 1155 and then um, It'll continue um, until about 1.30. That's going to be a very exciting time. It should be. And one of the things that we're really stressing is safety. Yes, I was just going to get to that. You gave me a, a pair of shades here. <laughs> very cool shades. Yes. Um, so obviously, we don't want anybody looking directly at the sun. Mm -hmm. We don't want anybody thinking that their sunglasses mm -hmm. are enough coverage to protect their eyes. Really, you need to be using eclipse glasses. We're giving these away at the Perot Museum. Mm -hmm. We're also giving them away at Clyde Warren Park through our tech oh. truck programs today. So if you're not down at the museum, but you're up on the park, you'll be able to collect them there as well. But safety is really, really critical exactly. um, during this time. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be at the park as well. Yes. Uh, can we talk more about the events that are happening today at the museum? Museum and why they're so important. Sure. Well, the museum is all about inspiring minds through nature and science. Mm -hmm. And if you think about eclipses, these are things that have inspired and inspired wonder really for millenniums. Mm -hmm. If you think back hundreds of years, people have looked to the skies when these things have happened rarely and wondered why. Mm -hmm. And so it gives this wonderful opportunity for the Perot Museum to be able to, to talk about science. We will have 20 or more STEM activities that are going on wow. again throughout the museum and outside. Everything from looking at dissected cow's eyes that show what happens when you do look at the sun and what the um, damages can be right. to understanding how to safely look at the, at the skies and then to learn more about astronomy and the world around us. Awesome, awesome. Is it too late to join the fun? It is not too late to join the fun. Okay. We are very, very close to sold out for Ooh, the day. I go figure. So I encourage everybody to go online, get your tickets in advance. And if they, if you get there and they're sold out, mm -hmm. again, we have science educators, our tech trucks, our outreach vans will be up at Clyde Warren Park and we'll be giving out um, the glasses there as well. We'll be giving out 30,000 of these glasses oh, today. Wow. Oh, you guys are ready. And we will be giving out a million in April for the for that eclipse. So Ooh. we're, safety is important. <laughs> it really is. Dr. Silver, thank you so much for joining us this morning and taking some time out to come down here to the studio. This is definitely going to be an incredible natural event happening this afternoon. If you got your tickets for today's event, 
you're going to have a lot of fun. Now, this event at the Pro Museum, as you said, almost sold out. Yes. So jump online to see uh, if you can get a ticket there and be a part of that or head to Clyde Warren. But we do have plenty of other opportunities for you to see this eclipse in style across DFW. You can uh, check out the event that will be at the Urban Astronomy Center at UT. They're going to have some telescopes equipped with safely, with safety as well, um, that you can view the eclipse as well. The other will be on Curry Hall Lawn with UNT Society of Physics students. So that will be fun as well. More local watch parties are listed on our website at WFA.com. They are right on our homepage. All right, we're going to.